Are you tired of filling your cooler with ice for camping trips? Maybe you're looking for a solution that will keep your food and drinks cooler for a longer period of time on your next camping trip. Well, stick around. I'm excited to show you the EcoFlow Glacier and how its features will make you want to leave your cooler at home on your next camping trip. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to show this channel some support. Okay, so how many of you carry with you a cooler to camp? That's definitely me. It's been a tradition for me to carry a cooler filled with ice to camp ever since I was young. I would throw my food and drinks in the cooler. However, I really hate to manage ice and I'm never certain whether my meat is at a safe temperature throughout my camping trip. Having a refrigerator and Airstream was a treat when I got the base camp two years ago, but the amount of space in the base camp refrigerator is not enough if I have to go more than a week without grocery shopping. The freezer space in the base camp is really limited. I've been looking for a refrigerator to supplement my curtain setup. EcoFlow sent me the EcoFlow Glacier just in time for a 10 days camping trip. I've been using the EcoFlow Glacier for almost a month at home and while camping. So I'm going to be doing a review on it to see if it lives up to its expectation. I didn't receive money to review the EcoFlow Glacier, so this is just really my honest opinion in my review of the EcoFlow Glacier. And I gotta say, EcoFlow as a company has come up with some really innovative products this year, including the Blade, the Wave 2, a portable AC heater combo, and now the Glacier the world's first 3-in-1 portable refrigerator. The Glacier triples as a refrigerator, a freezer, and an ice maker. Let's dive into the 3-in-1 feature some more. First of all, the Glacier can be set up as a single zone or dual zone. I set the Glacier up in dual zone mode by inserting the divider in the middle. The Glacier will automatically detect that it needs to switch to dual zone mode. I wanted to keep the fridge compartment around 37 degrees Fahrenheit for all my drinks and some food while the freezer compartment at 0 degrees Fahrenheit for frozen food and ice cream. It took about 16 minutes for the glacier to reach 32 degrees and about 30 minutes for it to reach 0 degrees Fahrenheit. This is extremely fast compared to other refrigerator of similar size that promises to reach 32 degrees in 20 to 30 minutes. The EcoFlow Glacier performs extremely well during my 10 days camping trip. The temperature of the fridge compartment dropped about 25 degrees even though I set it to 37 degrees. It won't increase to a high temperature even if I set it to 45 degrees. I didn't understand why at first but figured that the temperature in my freezer compartment was way too low. The temperature between the two compartments can only have a max difference of 25 degrees. So if my freezer compartment has a temperature of 0 degrees, the fridge compartment is affected and should hover around 25 degrees. I didn't have a problem with the low temperature in the fridge compartment because I only store drinks and non-vegetable items. However, if you're storing vegetables, 25 degrees is way too cold and your vegetable will lose its texture. With that being said, I like my beer extra cold and it tasted great at 25 degrees. The ice cream that I store in the freezer compartment has the most perfect texture. I really dislike soft textured ice cream so that's why I set the freezer compartment to 0 degrees. It's such a treat to eat ice cream with perfect texture while camping. But let's not forget about the one feature that the EcoFlow Glacier has that no other products in this class has. Yes, I'm talking about the ice maker and I love it so much. The ice maker comes with a removable basket. It's recommended to clean the ice maker with a wet cloth after each use. The ice maker compartment is made with food safe and bacteria resistant materials. I used to take a pack of ice in a Ziploc bag on each camping trip, but that took up precious freezer space in the base camp refrigerator. Now I can have ice on demand while camping. The ice maker can take up 1.5 liters of water. The metal rod is used to freeze water and form ice. EcoFlow claims that it takes 12 minutes to make a batch of ice, but I made a batch of ice in 10 minutes. Keep in mind that it was around 40 degrees outside, so expect a longer time to make ice on your first batch if it's summer weather. You can control whether you want large or small ice cubes on the EcoFlow app with your phone. Once the ice making cycle is completed, you can just slip up the basket and remove the ice from the freezing rods. 
You can then drain the water from the hidden tube on the side or leave it to make another batch of ice. Keep in mind that the water level has to be close to the max as possible for best results. Now, let's talk about the design of the EcoFlow Glacier. I saw the glacier at CES 2023 in January and my first impression was, wow, that looks like something from a sci-fi movie. It has a minimalistic design, it's modern and slick, and it fits perfectly into the aesthetic of my camping setup. The display panel is beautiful, it's bright enough for you to clearly read it when outdoor. The buttons are simple and very intuitive. You can power the glacier, set temperature, and make ice with a couple press of the button. The construction feels solid. It's built to withstand camping activities. The add-on extension handle is well hidden when not in use, and the wheels are well designed for rolling on uneven grounds. The handle and the wheel add-on is a must-have if you're going to be carrying the glacier around a lot. My initial impression of the wheel is that it protrudes too much, taking up valuable space in the car. I decided to keep it on because I don't want to hurt my back carrying a fully loaded fridge. To my surprise, the wheels didn't take up that much space at all. I was still able to fit everything inside the trunk of my car. Keep in mind that the handle and wheels are add-on items that does not come with the purchase of the glacier. I highly recommend you getting it if you're going to be moving the glacier around a lot. Taking a look at the inside of the glacier, it has a capacity of 38 liters. You can fit 60 12 ounce can inside the cooler if it's single zone. However, using it as dual zone brings down the capacity to 36 liters. I was able to fit almost 38 cans in the left compartment. The basket frame got in the way of putting in the 38th can. You can remove the basket to maximize storage space. Speaking of removing, you can also remove the divider and store it under the glacier lid. I love this feature as I tend to lose things easily. I'll never forget where I put the divider. Now that we've talked about the basic features of the EcoFlow Glacier, let's talk about the energy usage and efficiency. You can charge the EcoFlow Glacier by using the AC adapter, 12 volt DC input, or solar input. I love how EcoFlow simplified the charging method into one input port. It plugs into an XT60 input. The AC adapter and 12 volt charging cable comes with the glacier, but the XT60 to MC4 cable to charge via solar is sold separately. The rechargeable battery pack is also sold separately, and I highly recommend you to get it. The battery pack and these charging methods work in sync with each other like no other products on the market. The EcoFlow Glacier has internal compartment for the battery pack, so it's hidden and does not get in the way unlike other products in this class. It takes about 2 hours to charge the battery via AC input, 12 volt DC car charging, and solar. I plug in the Glacier via AC input when it's at home, but use DC and solar charging while camping. I plug the Glacier into the 12 volt DC outlet in the trunk of my car before driving off for hours to my campground. This is perfect because it keeps my battery level at 100%. Then I can also charge via solar when the sun is out. Other similar portable refrigerator charges via solar directly to the unit because it doesn't have a battery pack. However, the Glacier uses solar energy to charge the battery pack so you'll still have power long after the sun is gone. Also, the battery pack can operate independently charging on its own via USB-C input or charging other devices via USB-C output both at 100W for input and output. This is such a game changer! So how efficient is the EcoFlow Glacier? Well, the EcoFlow Glacier is a compression style refrigerator that means that it's already very efficient with battery usage. I paired the EcoFlow Glacier with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro to test out battery usage in the first trial. I plugged it in at night before going to sleep with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro at 84% and checked the morning after 14 hours, 24 minutes, and the battery dropped to 53%. That's 238 watt hour of energy spent in almost 14 and a half hours. I ran the same test again the next night, but this time with the Glacier battery pack. It was at 100% and dropped to 54% in 11 hours, 12 minutes. That's 137 watt hour in a little over 11 hours of usage. If we break down the usage per hour, it's 16.5 watt hour when paired with the EcoFlow River 2 Pro and 12 watt hour when using the Glacier Battery Pack. It's clear that the Glacier Battery Pack is more efficient. However, keep in mind that the temperature was in the high 30 degrees on both of these nights that I tested the glacier. You'll have different results in the summer as the weather warms up, and it really depends on what you set the temperature of the glacier to. 
Last but not least, I want to tell you guys how awesome the EcoFlow app is when paired with the Glacier. I didn't use the EcoFlow app at all when using EcoFlow's power station, but I find it extremely convenient to use the app to check on the status of the Glacier when sitting by the campfire. It tells me the temperature of the Glacier along with battery status. I can also check the status of my other EcoFlow products as I like to plug the Glacier into the River 2 Pro. I can adjust the temperature of the Glacier and receive notifications on my phone. This is awesome because I can sit by the fire at camp and get the Glacier to make ice with a click of a button. It notifies me when the ice making cycle is completed so I don't have to keep an eye out for the time. I also sometimes check the status of the Glacier while I'm at work. It's a really convenient feature that I find myself using more and more each day. In conclusion, the EcoFlow Glacier is such a revolutionary product with its ability to be a fridge, a freezer, and an ice maker all in one package. It packs so many features from three different ways to charge to its efficient ability to keep cool for days. The swappable rechargeable battery pack and ice maker makes it stand out from the other products in the same class. The EcoFlow app also makes it a more convenient experience for you to check on the status of the Glacier and receive notifications. I highly recommend you get the EcoFlow Glacier over other comparable products. The EcoFlow Glacier retails for $999. However, you can get a discount if you buy the Glacier early. Check the video description for early bird discount details and use my discount code to receive $10 off your purchase. If you find this video helpful, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to let me know what you think about the EcoFlow Glacier in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.